no wonder why this rig is so effective. Every time I go out either snorkeling or putting the cameras underwater, this rig just presents on pretty much anything and everywhere. Now when you look at what's going on beneath the surface, and especially at this time of year, the light is losing its strength, the sun is getting lower in the sky, we're going into winter, and I find that a lot of the weed beds will just flop over, they lose their strength, so they're flopping down, there's still structure in the water, but they're not standing proud. And I find carp are drawn to these like magnets. A lot of the lake can be barren, but if you've got weed beds, the fish are drawn to these, particularly in the winter months. And I'm finding fish already now having leeches over their body in their mouths, which indicates to me they've been feeding in the weed. That's where the last of the food's probably lying for the winter months. So having a rig that presents over that terrain is absolutely crucially important. And unlike other rigs, like the, the fashionable, say, Ronnie rig or rigs like that they which need a clean bottom to present over the chod rig since its conception has just been an absolute winner for casting out onto showing fish over areas where you're not sure of the drop or not sure of the depth of the weed you can move the stop on the chod rig very very easily moving up sort of, sort of three or four foot if needed and what it what it does it presents on pretty much any bottom one of the key points for this rig is it bridges over weed and unlike other rigs that um, rely on like a leg clip system which, which plumb it through the weed, what you find is the chod rib, because you've got the long length of line and then the chod standing up, that long bit of line is a bridge. It's a bridge and if you fish it with a relatively light lead, that lead doesn't plumb it down and it just creates a, br a nice bridge over weed and then your bait is standing proud. So your bait doesn't end up going through the fronds of the weed, going down out of sight. It is absolutely visible at whatever level that weed is. So you don't have to think about anything in terms of um, like other rigs with uh, the length of the hook link. With a chod rig, two or three inches, all you need, bridges over whatever weeds out there and it'll stand proud and the amount of times those fish are circling those weed beds in the winter or wedged in them a bait just standing proud really catches them out. One point worth mentioning is the chod rig out of the water can look a little bit crude. I tend to fish mine on a naked chod most of the time. You can fish it on lead core and other, other leaders, but I find that a naked chod, once that goes out into the lake, you'll be surprised how well that disguise embeds itself in, and it's actually quite inconspicuous. And don't forget, these big carp are coming in from, they're spotting the pop-up from a distance and coming in, and when they're coming in vertically on the bait almost, then the the bait that's presented over weed and amongst debris, it all intents and purposes looks like it's a bait just hung up in the weed. So although it looks looks quite clumbersome out of the bank, when it's underwater from what I've seen and what I videoed, it looks absolutely perfect. Another advantage of this presentation is is actually fishing in amongst the weed. And in a day and age where everyone's trying to find clean spots and, and present bait perfectly, this flies in the face of that. You can present over pretty much anything. And from what I've seen over the years, these fish, particularly in the winter months, are lying up in these big weed beds um, and being quite dormant and not moving a lot. And if you can present in amongst those fish, it is definitely, definitely a, an edge to have in your armory. And, I always have a rod set up on this. Um, it only takes a show or a fish to, to bosh out in the middle of the night and you can quickly wang this, this rig out very quickly into the zone, into the area, not worry about what it's fishing on and be confident that it's a great chance of a take. So the setup of the chod rig, it's been a hundred times before, but it's very simple. But there are a few key things that are very, very important to make the rig really efficient. One is, being able to drop the lead. I think this is crucially important. Um, you notice there is quite a light lead. It's probably about an ounce and a half to two ounces, just enough to get it where you need to be. You don't want this bouncing around. And with a, a system like this, any pressure on this, it just pops off. So absolutely perfect, absolutely winner. So just moving down, then we've got the, the actual chod rig itself. Now, this is historically made out of a, a bristle filament type material. And then you can curve it to give you that lovely bend there, which just nestles in and makes sure that the, the hook flips, whichever way the carp's coming from, just flips round into the bottom lip. Just moving up to the hook section, 
uh, sorry, the hook. Then we've got a nice, really sharp hook and a D rig. But essentially, all that is is being, it's just whipped like a knotless knot. There are other knots you can use out there, which are probably neater. But I find a knotless knot just gone round four, four to five times. Take the loop back through the eye and blob it with a lighter, and then you can either use a bait screw or, in this case, we've just got a little little hook bead system of a little swivel on. So yeah, really, really simple. And then this is running freely on the main line, like I said, like a naked chod. And then we come up to the bead. Now the bead, if in the event of anything snapping, um, it's very, very important that this comes off. So this is a half bead on a rubber grommet. And should the fish snap the line above here, this will ride up and that'll literally just pop off. So very, very important for fish safety. You'll notice above the bead, there are some tiny blobs of putty, and this is just to help the line just sink the other side of the rig. So it's these little details which all add up to make a very efficient rig that can be cast pretty much anywhere. So on the cast, as you'd expect, that slides all the way up to the top. This is flying through the air. And then uh, one thing on the casting, I tend to I tend to lob. I don't tend to drill this in and hit the stop aggressively. You are basically lobbing this in. So that is always at the top. Um, and I even keep the rod at top nice and high and just let it down nice and gently. Um, so then it's all laying away. As the lead hits, it's laying back from you and coming back in a nice line. So just little, little things like that, just keep this rig um, nice and presented out over, over anything. So there it is, really simple. Tend to have gone out of fashion these days, but I tell you what, this will catch them to the day dot.